Hello everyone, welcome to Example of Physics. In this video, we are going to deal with the topic refraction of light. These questions are for practice and at the level of class 10. You know what? These questions were sent by one of you. If you do have any doubts in any concept or you are facing difficulty in solving questions, send them to me. I will try to make a video solution as soon as possible. The refractive index of diamond is 2.47 and that of glass is 1.51. So let us write the given first. The first thing after reading the equation we should write given so that we get an idea how to solve the equation. So refractive index of diamond I am writing it as mu d 2.47 and refractive index of glass is 1.51. Definition of refractive index of a medium is speed of ratio of speed of light in air to speed of light in medium. So this is also speed. So its unit will be meter per second. And the denominator is also speed. And its unit is also meter per second. So when you take the ratio of the same quantities, their units get cancelled out. Hence refractive index has no unit okay so what is the unit of refractive index refractive index is not doesn't have any unit it is just a number which tells us how much the refraction will take place now refractive indices are given now the question is how much faster does the light travel in a glass than in diamond okay by looking at the numbers you can just say see check the refractive index indices 2.47 the other one is 1.51 greater the refractive index greater is the refraction that is bending greater bending implies the speed of light in that medium has decreased so the speed of light in diamond is less compared to speed of light in glass you can say it by just looking at the values of refractive indices Let's go to the definition now. So refractive index of diamond is equal to speed of light in air divided by velocity of light in diamond. Similarly, the definition for refractive index of glass is speed of light in air divided by speed of light in glass. Now since we have understood that and what are they asking in the question, how faster does the light travel in glass than in diamond I am going to do an interesting thing I am going to take the ratio of refractive index of diamond with refractive index of glass and let's see what happens refractive index of diamond by definition is C by VD you can see here mu D is C by VD divided by refractive index of glass you can write it as C by Vg. Now writing the fraction properly C by Vd into Vg by C. C and C gets cancelled out. What do we get? Vg by Vd. So again I'll let me write the result here. The result we got is mu d by mu g is equal to Vg by Vd. Now one important thing you have to observe here. This is very very important. Will help you to solve other questions. Not this but other questions. Here you check. In the numerator I have written refractive index of diamond. But its velocity is in the denominator on the other side. Similarly I have written refractive index of glass in the denominator but its velocity is in the numerator on the other side keep that in mind and you know what this term mu g mu d by mu g this is called as refractive index of numerator we have diamond diamond with respect to glass and what is re this refractive index of diamond with respect to glass this is called as relative refractive index we will discuss this little later. 
So let us complete this question. Now what are we supposed to do? They are asking velocity of glass. So let us keep glass on one side. Let us keep glass on one side and take Vd to the other side. So what do we get? Mu D by mu G into Vd. What is mu D? Mu D is 2.47 and what is mu g? Mu g is 1.51 into v. Now we have two numbers and we have to divide them. So what I will do is uh, I will just take little bit small approximation and this small approximation may not affect the answer that much just in order to solve the question faster otherwise you have to do is take what what you have to do is you have to divide 2.47 with 1.51 i am just taking small approximation 1.51 is almost equal to 1.50 that's it that's what i am taking here approximation just instead of writing 1.51 i am writing 1.50 to make the calculation easy i know the answer will be slightly deviated but i'll get almost the correct answer that's why I am doing it. Now let us remove this decimal points over there. So we will get 24.7 divided by 15 into Vd. If you are feeling difficulty in this you do in a normal way normal division with 1.51. So I know let us cancel it with 5 table 5 3 is a 5 4 is a 20 remainder 4 point 47, 5 9, 4 are 45. So remainder 2, 2 0, 4. Now I can cancel it with 3, 3 are 3, 3, 1 9, 3 6 are 18, 1 4, 3, 4 are 12, 2 0, 20. So 3 6 are 18, 2 0, 6, 6, 6, 6 and so on. I will just write two digits after decimal. So I will round it off to 1.65 Vd. Now let us write this very neatly. Vg, our result is Vg is equal to 1.65 Vd. Now what does this mean? See the question. Question says how much faster does light travel in glass than in diamond? Answer is the light travels 1.65 okay i will say i will not say exactly approximately 1.65 times of vd because i have take a small approximation there that's it so hope you are enjoying the solving enjoying the process of solving questions and if you have really enjoyed it watching learning then please subscribe the channel and we will be meeting with yet another video soon. Bye-bye.